Hello everyone. Fans of The Simpsons might remember an episode called Lisa vs Malibu Stacy, where Lisa Simpson designs a new doll to compete with the Malibu Stacy doll. Well, in response to this, the makers of Malibu Stacy brought out a brand new Malibu Stacy, but the only difference was she had a new hat. Wait, don't be fooled. She's just a regular Malibu Stacy with a stupid cheap hat. She still embodies all the awful stereotypes she did before. But she's got a new hat. Well, those people at Pneumatic International have given George a new hat. They've also given Charles a new hat. I tried to order Charles with a new hat a couple of months ago and they sent me the old version so that went straight back to Somerset and I didn't reorder. But I left it a while, saw that George was available with the new hat and of course I had to have him because he's got a new hat. So let's take George out of the box and have a look at his new hat. I'm so excited. This will be my, well, it's not my third George. It's the third George I own at the moment. So um, I'm going to be selling my previous George. So uh, yeah, I can't have three Georges. I mean, really, that's a bit excessive. Here's George's dry filter for dry pickup only. I'll try and run through this quickly. I've unboxed a few Georges on my channel. Here is George's hard floor cleaning head. For washing hard floors, you've got very stiff brushes on the underside and a flip over to the squeegee. So basically you'd spray the solution onto your hard floor, scrub it in, and then flip it over and suck up all the dirty water. It's quite hard work compared to say an upright floor washer, but it does a very good job, very robust, very industrial, this George cleaner is. So there's that. And then we have this type of head with George and George's head has a metal base plate. So it's a bit more of an old style nozzle. We've also got the parking debris on the back. So that will slot at the back of George as will four of the cleaning tools. You've got a pedal, brush down for hard floors, and of course brush up for carpet. We have the instruction book. There's no color, is there? No, oh dear. It's all black and white now, and mainly pictures. Now this is where George excels, and I've shown a video of George in this mode using this accessory. I've shown George cleaning a sofa. I've shown George cleaning a car. I'm not sure if I've shown George cleaning stairs. I think I have filmed some footage of George cleaning stairs, but I don't know where it's gone to. So this nozzle is ideal for car valeting because it concentrates the suction. You've got the spray at the back and the trigger. So I would use this nozzle, of course, for valeting cars. I'd use it on upholstery. I'd use it on mattresses. I'd use it on stairs. I'd use it in all the small areas you can't actually reach using George's main carpet shampoo head. So that is very good for above floor jobs. We've got, I think it's more or less the same shampoo, but they've got a nice new colorful label on it. Henry Wash and Revive. And how much do we get? 500 mil. You can of course buy more shampoo from myhenry.com. This is the fishtail shampoo nozzle, which I've just dropped on the floor. Butterfingers. I'm just so excited about George's new hat, you see. I can't, I can't control myself. So far, there's nothing different about the tools I'm showing you. Nothing different to the previous George. So here's the translucent head for your carpets. It's got a metal skids on it, metal base, so it's hard wearing. So all this does is spray the solution on at the back and then you just basically pull the nozzle as you're spraying and it almost immediately picks it up. So there's no real agitation. You've no got, not got any brushes or spinning brushes or rotary brushes, nothing to agitate the pile. So I've found that George is a good jack of all trades, but 
for carpets is a little bit lacklustre really and a bit more difficult to use than an upright carpet washer. What else have we got? We have a regular hose for dry use. You can use this for picking up liquids as well, but there is another hose you can use for that, but that's mainly for your dry pickup. This is your wet pickup hose. And you also connect this hose when using George as a soil extractor, when using a shampoo function, this is the hose you need because it also has the solution tube not built in, but it's actually attached to the outside of the hose. Then you've got the trigger assembly with the brass jet at the end that attaches to the curved handle for carpet and hard floor cleaning, wet cleaning, not dry cleaning. You don't need it for that. Two wands. This wand is slightly different. You'll see there's an extra bit on it. That's what we slide the trigger to. I've just shown you. And they are slightly different lengths as well, those. And here's your standard curved handle. Actually, that's what you slide the trigger to. Can you see there? So I can't remember what you do with the other bit. <laughs> it's a while since I've used George. I've used him for valeting, but I didn't need the other wand. It'll all become clear during the course of the video. Oh, wow, George has more bags than I was expecting. I think George will have a bag fitted and then one, two, three, we get four spare HEPA flow bags. That's good. Oh, one of the attachments is trying to make a run for it. So these are the small accessories. Or you can use this for dry or wet pickup. That's your upholstery nozzle. Then you've got your crevice tool, which <laughs> I think they've rushed this one out the factory. It's got a bit of plastic sticking to that. It just comes off, there we go. So that's your crevice tool for your nooks and crannies or crannies and nooks. Then you've got the adapter, which enables you to attach any of the accessories directly to the end of the hose instead of using the curved handle. A dusting brush, I would say that's for dry use only. And then also for dry use only, you've got a slide on brush that fits onto the upholstery nozzle. I think that's everything. Yeah. George is gonna need a polish straight out of the box. <sighs> mm. The previous George I bought to this, he was all scuffed up. His uh, base was scuffed up and uh, pneumatic kindly sent a replacement because I complained about it on social media. But this is all scuffed up as well and you don't really want that from a cleaner that's fresh out of the factory. And I was informed by someone who visited the pneumatic factory in Somerset that they make sure before they go in the box, they're all polished up and lovely. But I'll show you in a minute how scuffed the new hat of George is. A little bit disappointed, George. Well, apart from George being quite scuffed up here, he's pretty dusty. Well, I can't have George appearing on my channel with a scuffed up helmet or hat. So a bit of uh, wash and wax, hopefully. He'll be all shiny new again. That scuff's not coming out though. To get that deeper scuff out, I think uh, it's going to be a teacup job, but we can get the dust off and we can make him shine because he's still happy. He's still smiling despite the fact he came out on my channel looking like that. Never mind. Hopefully you work, George. Yeah, that scuff's not coming out. I'll have to learn to live with it. I don't think I often have to polish up a brand new vacuum cleaner on my channel, but yeah, when I get an old machine, that's filthy. Well, I often give that a wipe over before I show it to you, but I think it's possibly the first time I've had to do it to a new machine. Oh, never mind, George. Right, now I can actually show you George and we'll first take a closer look at his new front mounted switches. These new front mounted buttons are a big improvement on the previous George because they're easier to access and much easier to use. They still have a sort of rubber seal around them, so if you've got wet hands or any water gets splashed on them, they should be okay, but obviously 
try not to switch George on and off with wet hands. So the green button turns on George's suction motor and the blue button turns on the pump. So when using George for dry pickup or wet pickup only, then you can press the suction motor. When using George for shampooing, then you need to also activate the pump. George has a nice built-in carry handle and he's quite a hefty boy. Oh, even empty is uh, pretty heavy. But we have this little hook that you can move. It only goes one way, there is an arrow on it, so it'll only turn that way. So to wrap the cord round, we can move the hook outwards. And on the back, we still have a hook, completely redesigned though, it's built into this new back panel. So now we can wrap around the cable, that's much better because now we've got two hooks. That's so much better, folks. Right, I think it's still a 10 meter cable, so it took me a while. The only slight disadvantage, it would be nice to have a clip here, which could secure this end of the cable to the rest of it, and it would just clip. That would just make it perfect, but there isn't. So you just basically just have to sort of put the hook underneath, uh, sorry, put the plug underneath the cable sort of like that and hope it doesn't unravel when it's in the back of your white van or you're carrying him upstairs to clean your bedroom. If you damage the mains cable, George has a new easy to change design. All you have to do is undo two screws, remove this cover and then simply unplug the mains cord and you can just fit a replacement, they'll be available online. So the replacement cord just plugs in, like so, easy as anything. And then you pop the cover back in and then screw up the screws. So yes, that is an improvement. The front mounted switches and the new cord storage system a lot neater, very good. I think that's basically the only difference we're going to see with George. We'll take off his hat. There we are. Have a look underneath. Yeah, I think he's uh, pretty much the same underneath. This little tube here, oh, it's got water in it. It would have been tested. They would have run water through it at the factory. It's not a used item. I can tell this is a factory sealed one. It's not been scuffed up in someone else's home. This is how it was when he was thrown into the box. But yeah, there's a bit of water in there because they will have tested that the pump works. So uh, I'm not concerned about that. And then under the motor unit, we've got the float valve assembly. And this should always be inserted when you're using George for wet pickup or shampooing, but not for dry use. You can see it's got this mesh filter here which does come off and you can keep that clean under running water and there is the float valve and the float valve will rise up as George fills with water and when he's full the float valve cuts off the suction so it will block off the suction inlet there and you'll notice a change in tone of the motor George will be more higher pitched than normal and obviously there'll be hardly any suction at the hose end so you must always switch George off when he cuts out if you accidentally knock George over this will activate as well but you know you must always keep George emptied um, after use never leave George with any liquid inside because otherwise you can get rust on the motor and I always with this type of machine I always leave them to air dry before storing them away I make sure they're bone dry before putting them away you don't want to put George or any wet and dry cleaner or shampooer away wet because it's going to cause dampness and that can often get into the motor and cause a premature death. So float valve and then this, which is exactly the same. And one little bugbear I have with this container is it's not sealed. So you can be carrying it and it does weigh a fair bit when it's full. You can be carrying it from your sink to put inside George and if you slosh it about water will escape from around the lid so i would like to see it a bit more sealed than it is 
and it only oh that's unusual it says here 20 degrees max so you, you can't be put hot water in george 20 degrees is really cold water with many carpet washers and floor washers i've looked at recently you can put up to 60 degree water in and i think hotter water tends to clean better than cold water so um yeah but that was the case with the the orange vax the pump version it said use cold water only so that's the tank which as i said it's not watertight it is watertight if you keep it upright but yeah it's easy just to slosh about and you'll see water escaping so not perfect and yes george is just the same inside it's just the hat all the tools are the same it looks just the same you've got your two heavy duty casters at the front and two big wheels at the back and space to put four accessories without having to piggyback them so well, let's uh, get the accessories out we can put all the small tools onto the back of George where's the dusting tool gone here it is at the back actually let's just rearrange a bit uh, dusting tool there I'll just put the uh, slide on brush onto the upholstery nozzle so there are all your dry tools will store on the back not sure if you could put any of the bigger tools on if you're only using George I've just spotted another floor but if you're only using George for wet use then I suppose that sort of fits on not so easily but yeah it will go on and I uh, wonder if we can get about we can get the no this doesn't fit on it's a different yeah you can't you can't get the hard floor head but you can get the small shampooing nozzle on there he's got a handle there so you can carry George to your drain or your loo to empty him out uh, if you've used him for shampooing or if you've used him to help clean up after a flood winter's coming and flood season is coming so George could save your life or save your carpets or at least make things a little bit less tragic if you have a minor flood in your home providing you have somewhere to empty him away from the flood water so there we go nothing different underneath to set George up so George doesn't have a bag inside him so we do get three spare bags and one bag to fit and these are bigger put him up that way these are bigger than the standard Henry these would fit inside a Henry you just got excess material looking at the picture in the instructions it shows the bag going in George like this and then you push push the bag onto the black bag support tube there like that so there's George with his bag and then you must put on the dry filter for dry use so that replaces the float that you'd use for wet pickup and shampooing and then on goes George's hat but still got a bit of water coming out of this this needs to be clipped out of the way I've never found they really stay where you put them but there are some little holes this seems to pop out no matter what you do but um, yeah don't know why it's hmm try it like that so as you can see the shampoo tube is clipped up out of the way you don't want to catch that underneath the rim of George oops wrong way around his cables coming loose now now there we are is that you done George push your ears back in there we are you're done and dusted right let's release your cable which we can do by moving the hook and releasing the cable in one go so you're ready for action still got a bit of water dripped on him check he's off he's off switch on at the wall He speaks. 
And also we've got the pump. I'll just briefly turn the pump on, but you shouldn't really run the pump without water in the solution tank. That sounds okay. Let's measure George on the old suction gauge. Now standard Henry or Hetty measures 80. And this George has a thousand watt motor and a two bar pump. So I'll need to put the, uh, the short adapter on. Get my suction gauge and we'll see if George has any more suction than a standard Henry. <laughs> George peaked at around 88, so yes, he does have slightly more suction power than a standard Henry, but not a great deal considering he has a much higher wattage motor. Okay, let's set up George for dry use. So we've got the curved handle, which can be put onto the end of the hose that way, or that way, depending on your preference. Normally for floor and carpet cleaning, I'd have the angle like that got your little suction control to reduce the suction that just opens a vent and then we've got the two pipes push and twist you might find these pipes can stick together that's also a bit scuffed up as well dear me right so I think the uh, the works manager at pneumatic needs to start cracking the whip a bit more Get these cleaners out to the customers, blemish free and polished. Otherwise their smiley faces won't be too smiley, or at least the people unboxing them won't be quite so smiley as they should be. But anyway, I'll get, I'll get over it folks. Worse things happen at sea, don't they? Right, yeah, what's it gonna be like on my plush pile carpet? <laughs> work he's better on short pile carpet hard floor saxony plush it's not just george it's not your fault george it's not just you it's most vacuums don't like it hopefully next year i'm going to replace this carpet because it's just a nightmare um of course you can add the turbo nozzle that fits to henry if you've got a henry and you've bought a george all of henry's tools will fit george as well so you've got the pro kit that contains the two turbo nozzles and the hard floor head. By all means, George can borrow them from Henry. I'm sure it'll be fine. So yes, if you've got carpets, if George is your only vacuum and you've got lots of carpet, get the pro kit or at least buy the full sized aero brush because you'll find carpet cleaning is much easier. But a lot of people buy George as a secondary cleaner. He's not their only vacuum. George is best in my opinion as a secondary vacuum by all means keep your little cordless machines keep your mains powered upright or cylinder and george will come out for all the mucky jobs he'll still smile when he's picking up the muck but there's some jobs george can do that your little dyson cordless or shark cordless whatever brand you've got your SIBO even i wouldn't use a SIBO on the things i would use george for and of course the SIBO won't pick up water and you try picking up water with your Dyson cordless, I don't think it's gonna last very long, but at least George will tackle the tough jobs. If you're renovating a house, George can clean up. Anything, any of the dirty jobs, and the, and the deep clean, the spring clean, George is a jack of all trades, but he's not a master of any of them. To be honest, apart from, and I've said this before, where is it? <laughs> Apart from this, using George with this nozzle, if you want to valet your car or valet your car, however you pronounce it, George is a very good machine for that. He's robust. He comes with a nice long hose and he will be good for dry cleaning the car and wet cleaning. So I really do like this nozzle. It is very good. But for carpets, he's not so convenient, I'm afraid. So anyway, that's George for dry use. I'll quickly show you how to convert George for wet pickup 
and then shampooing and that will be the end of this video it's basically just to introduce a new George to my channel at some point I'll make a video showing George in action everything I'll show him picking up dry I'll show him picking up a spillage I'll show him shampooing carpets washing floors and cleaning upholstery etc I've done several separate videos on George but not one complete compendium so I'll have to feature that on my channel at some point so this is George for dry and of course you, you can use all the tools with him either directly on the end of the hose with the adapter on the end of the handle or on the end of the wand so if you want to reach up high for cobwebs etc you can put the dusting brush on the end of the extension wand and yeah once they are a bit stiff that is a complaint I've seen in reviews it would be nice if pneumatic might consider a click fitting at least for their domestic cleaners so you can pop the nozzle in it clicks into place and you can release it at the touch of a button that would solve a lot of complaints plus why not fit a telescopic wand anyway they've been like that for many years so I don't think they're going to change just because I've said it would be nice so George is set up for dry so for wet pickup even if you're in a rush, if your washing machine's overflowed, if your dishwasher's flooded, if you've got water coming out of your toilet, you must change over George before using him for any wet pickup, or otherwise you could possibly damage his motor. So take off his hat, take out his dry filter, take out his dust bag. Then for wet pickup only, pop in the float valve, I suppose it doesn't really does it matter I don't think it matters which way that goes in if you're not using the shampoo container then you can pop George's well actually you see the thing it's always falling down that bit there look so you can actually put that in there in the hole so that's George set up for wet pickup you can use the dry tools you can use this hose if you're in a rush for wet pickup if you want to if it's a smaller area you can concentrate the suction you can use of course this use that on your kitchen floor or wherever if you've got a, you need a quick spillage or for larger areas of course the best thing to use for wet pickup would be the hard floor cleaning head just use the squeegee side and then you've got larger areas you can just clean up easily with that but if you want to shampoo, so that's wet pickup, shampooing, a bit more involved. You've got to take off the dry hose because you do need the special hose for shampooing. Let me just grab it. And bear in mind, because of George, George is versatile. He comes with a lot of tools. You've got to bear in mind, he will take up quite a bit of storage space. So on goes the hose and then this part, this solution tube plugs into here and then it locks into position and to release it you just pull back the brass collar and it pops out but before we actually attach the solution tube we need to take George's motor unit off and fit the solution tank so you'd use the recommended amount of solution as per the dosing instruction on the bottle fill it up with water up to 20 degrees remove the float valve and then put in the shampoo container it goes this way to the front with this cut out that goes like this might have to just jiggle it about and then the handle just fits down like that and this is where you need to put that pipe that takes the solution through the pump and then through to the nozzle so when you have the clean solution tank installed you need to reinsert the float assembly and you'll see it's got the cut out here that corresponds to the spout on the actual clean water tank so make sure it goes on like that then you put the motor unit back again you've got to make sure that this pipe goes into the hole and just position the motor unit centrally and lock it into place so now we have to attach the hose and you do need the special hose when you're using the George for shampooing so bayonet fitting push and twist and then you fit the solution tube 
to this part here just pushes in it'll click into place to release it you just push back the brass collar and that pops out pop it back in again and now we can take the extra long hose it is very long it won't reach up a standard flight of stairs but it does get quite a quite quite a way up the stairs but you will have to finish the top of the stairs with george on your landing so for car valeting for upholstery cleaning for stair cleaning you attach this nozzle directly again it just pushes in nice firm click and that's george set up now for doing your above floor cleaning you've got your trigger here built in for carpet and floor cleaning we just remove this nozzle so you just push the collar back take that off take off that and then we can pop on the ones first of all i'm going to attach this piece so this is the brass jet that you use for carpet and floor cleaning and that fits onto this piece here so that has to be on the lower extension wand and you just slide it on like that and then we can fit the fishtail nozzle you see there's a little cut out here at the back so that pushes on push it on as far as you can do it and you can just about see it doesn't push fully home but you can see that that black piece is partly in on the cutout you just about see that hopefully and then you just do up the screw not too tightly make sure you undo the screw as well before you push the fishtail nozzle in just tighten it up hand tighten it and then we can take the tube with the trigger and that fits on this part under the curved handle so it has to go this way around with this part closer to the wand and then just you have to pull it a bit stretch it there we go so now that's fitted on there so you can see we've got the trigger assembly and then you can control the flow of solution at the nozzle end and then you just attach the hose to the curved end of the handle and then finally plug in the solution tube like that and now you're ready to use george for carpet cleaning floor cleaning you don't have to change anything on the handle or the ones you can just leave the trigger assembly in place so you can go from cleaning carpets to giving your hard floors a good clean all you have to do is remove the fishtail carpet nozzle so undo the screw and pull it off you might have to jiggle it about these do tend to fuse together after a certain amount of use and then again on the hard floor nozzle you've got a little cut out so that goes towards the back and it doesn't quite fit all the way as you can see but just make sure it fits like that and you can use it now for your hard floors so for hard floor cleaning you'd first of all turn the brushes that way you'd squeeze the trigger which will spray solution towards the back of the nozzle so you'd saturate an area give it a good scrub and then you'd flip the nozzle you can turn the pump off at this stage but keep the suction motor on in fact the first part of the hard floor cleaning you don't have to have the suction motor on just turn the pump on and pre-treat the area pre-spray scrub 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 if it's a very dirty floor and it's a sealed floor that you can wet clean you could leave it for a while then flip it over and then just turn on the suction motor and then squeegee all that filthy water up into george's recovery tank it is hard work i have to say using george in this manner but he does a very good job he does a better job than many of those floor washers that have the soft roller they're okay for day-to-day -day use keeping your floors clean but for a deeper clean if you live in a farmhouse or you live in the countryside and you've got lots of mud coming in george will be your friend and he'll do everything with a smile on his face so that's about it i've shown you george his new hat his new switches his new cord rewind system i didn't put his hat on properly i do apologize i thought you were in george i clearly didn't you've got to be firm you've got to be cruel to be kind there we go you're fitted properly so yes definitely a small improvement but it is a good improvement to see the switches at the front much easier whoops to use and of course the cord storage again two improvements that do make quite a difference 
to the user experience of the pneumatic George. So, yes, if you want a George, if you want a jack of all trades, if you want a robust machine that's made in the UK, George is probably the only choice. He's a good value machine, especially when he's on offer. There are other machines, Karsha do a machine, but if it's a choice between the Karsha, and I've shown you the multifunction Karsha on my channel, if you're choosing between those two machines, I personally would go for the George. He's a lot more robust than the Karsha and should last you a lot longer. And of course, when you're buying George, you're supporting the UK, you're buying British. So thanks for watching. As I said, I will use new George in a video showing all his functions in one. I won't, you know, just showing you everything he can do but he is a very versatile machine. There's plenty of videos of my previous George machines in action. If you want to check those out, I do have a pneumatic playlist with 70 plus videos featuring these smiley faced vacuum cleaners. So until the next time, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.